Hi everyone, this is Robbie from Umberger and today we will talk about offline programming with DRL Studio for Dusan Robotics. So if this is the first time that you see DRL Studio, maybe it's better if you follow the previous video where we talk about DRL Studio basics and where you can learn how to program your Dusan robot with Python programming language. But today's topic is offline programming. So why you need offline programming? Maybe because in this period you are stuck at home and you don't have a robot. Right now I'm in my house, at, uh, in my home, and I don't have a robot here with me, but still I need to go on with application development. So for this purpose I'm using RoboDK. RoboDK is, is a wonderful tool for offline programming and a general purpose system for any robot simulation and programming. So what I want to show you today is how our DRL Studio platform is deeply integrated with RoboDK. Let's start by opening DRL Studio. Okay, you can see here that I've got uh, this small piece of code. This is actually one of the exercises that I do in the lab to teach user reference frame. For example, let's see, I've got here a MoveJ movement. Then here I define the custom reference frame. And here I perform some uh, linear movement uh, with respect to this frame. And finally, I go to home position. So I don't really want to waste too much time to understand this code. I just want to simulate it and run it inside RoboDK. So make sure to have RoboDK installed in your PC. And from here, just click on Run DRL. You can select a robot model. Let's choose M1030. Okay. This will open RoboDK on your PC. Load the robot model inside your workstation and run your program. So this is actually your program. This is the frame. Okay. And then these are the relative movement with respect to this frame. So everything is working as expected. And finally, I go to home position. So now I will put RoboDK on one side and DRL Studio on the other, so I can have both of them on my desktop. If you already have a RoboDK workstation, you can load it easily from here. Open workstation and select it. This will open the new workstation in RoboDK. So what I want to do in this exercise, I want to perform a simple pick and place of this object using RoboDK and VR Studio. So I will create a new Python file. I will call it pick and place. Okay. One of the nice things of RoboDK is that you can move the robot but by just dragging the robot head. As, we, as you do with Dusan direct teaching feature. So let's say that I want to start from this position. So I want to save this position and I want it to be a move J movement. So I will go here and say insert move J. Okay. Then I will do a movement on the side here. Let's see. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so this is my second point. So I will save this position as a Cartesian position. So I will call it approach. And to get the quote, I will just go here and select get tool pose. You see, this is the POSIX command to save the Cartesian position of the robot. Then I will go down, okay, let's say here, and this will be my pick pose. I will save the position, get tool pose, okay. Then let's take the place position. That will be here. I will save the position. Okay. And then I need the go hop position here. So place position, approach to insert, get tool pose. Okay. So now I have to do the real movement. So I will say, uh, I will choose this linear velocity and this acceleration and then I will write down my movement so okay first I will go to approach I will set velocity and acceleration here then I have to go to pick pose. Again, velocity and acceleration. So here I have to do some picking operation to close the gripper. Let's see it later. So I have to go up. Okay, and then repeat all this with approach to, approach to, and place position. So here I've got to do some place operation to release the object with the grip. So let's check the movement for now. So I've got my program and I will launch it as we have seen previously. So run DRL. So this is J approach, going down, going up, and then there is the placing operation. Perfect. If you want to test your program step by step, you just have to right click on a position, select Robo Decay Move To. And this will move the robot to that position. So, in this way, you can test your program step by step. Move To. Okay. Now I want to really pick this object inside RoboDK. To do so, I will define my gripper open function and to simulate the opening of the gripper inside RoboDK, I will use the open gripper function. Same thing to close the gripper. So I will define my gripper close function 
and to simulate the closing of the gripper inside rubber decay I will use close gripper okay then for picking I will call gripper close function and for place I will use gripper open function okay so now I'm ready to test my program so I will click on run DRL let's see if everything works as expected okay so now the object has been grasped and will be placed here okay nice next things that i want to show to you is a path following project so rubber decay has a very powerful tool to develop curve and path following project i will open a new workstation okay so you see i've got this surface and i want to follow with my robot this particular path on the surface with rubber decay it takes a very few seconds to develop the robotic path i will show you so this is what you achieve with robot decay so you see the robot will follow the path on the surface very very nice very very powerful tool so what you can do now you can import and generate the relative code for your robot i will show you how i will open a new python file i will call at following so if i want to import this path perform in robot decay inside the Air health studio i will just have to go on import path okay you see this is the generated script to realize the path so if you run this script on your robot you will achieve something like this so maybe tomorrow i will go to the robotic lab and try this script on my robot to test what is the result Now I'm at Homeberger Robotics Lab and I want to test the path following project on the real Dusan robot. So you can see here I've got the Homeberger hub connected to the robot. So inside the RHAL Studio I will connect to the Homeberger hub. Okay, I will disengage the brakes given permission to operate and then I will run my script on the robot with this button let's check the result okay perfect you should notice that with this parameter in the spline movement uh, we force the robot to keep a constant velocity profile during the execution of the trajectory i will show you again to you so you will see the robot will move but the hand effector will keep a constant velocity during the path
finally what i want to show you to you is how to import program from robot ek to dr hal studio so i will open a quite complex workstation you see this is my workstation and in this case i have developed the whole program inside robot ek you can see here all the instruction composing my program. I will launch my program. Here it is. You see the robot will do some movement for this particular application. So what I want to do now is to import all this program in my DRL studio and have it generated for the DRL language. So I will create a new Python file, complex example. All I have to do is to go here and select import program. Okay, so this is all the program generated from this particular workstation. So I will have only to develop this particular function for opening and closing the gripper. For example, I can follow the quick fix and create function open. Okay, and I will do here my business logic, for example, using set digital output to operate my gripper. You see, it's very easy to develop the skeleton of your robotic application inside RoboDK, generating the code, importing it inside the RHAL Studio, and then optimize the code to achieve the final application. Hope you guys have enjoyed this session about offline programming with Dusan Robot. I think that we will have other training sessions soon. So if you have any question or are just curious, feel free to contact me. So guys, stay safe, play with dozen robots and see you in the upcoming training lessons.